Welcome back. We are in conversation with Anjil Nigam and Roni Akuradi, who are the actor in the upcoming film Growing Up Smith. And before we took a break, we were in a very interesting topic. But another interesting topic that I have in my mind, which is like mostly asked to all the South Asian actors here yeah. in America, that, you know, why South Asian get only South Asian roles in the films or the mainstream? How difficult or, you know, almost like impossible to penetrate in the mainstream, uh, you know, uh, film industry or the entertainment world, be it a TV or theater, you know, we're always um, stuck with that South Asian, you know, identity. Uh, I mean, I think I think it's an interesting question in regards to uh, identity, but I think the questions that we really need to look at is um, we are South Asian, of course, that's, mm -hmm. that's where our heritage mm -hmm. is. Um, the roles are not defined necessarily by uh, a profession, let's say. It's not often, often South Asians may be associated, and, and I find this kind of amusing when people ask me, well, you're South Asian, you're Indian, do you play Indian roles? And my answer is, yeah, well, of course. I mean, all of a sudden, I don't become Italian and I don't become yeah. Irish. Of course, I'm, I am Indian by blood. Yeah. And that's not going to change when I mm -hmm. put on a different wardrobe, right, and get in front of a camera. Um, the questions I think that we really need to take a look at is, are the roles that we play, are they significant? Are they substantial in the mm -hmm. storyline? Mm -hmm. And do they have three dimensions? And then you can start looking at and peeling back and see where the problems may lie. The problems may lie if they're not any one of these things, if they're not three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. Often what ends up happening is these roles um, have, a, have a tendency to be uh, stereotyped in a negative way, Cliché, right? Yes. Clichéd in a negative way. Yes. Of course, the fact is here. Stereotypes are often based on certain truths. I, I'll be very honest with you. I mm -hmm. grew up with knowing a lot of Indians mm -hmm. who were cab drivers, who were 7-Eleven employees, mm -hmm. who were uh, doctors and engineers and mm -hmm. computer mm -hmm. wizards, right? I've known Indians are embraced that uh, profession, those professions, mm -hmm. and they do quite well with them, yes, right? Absolutely. Whatever it is. And if we begin to associate with those professions, then the third uh, pers outside perspective is going to be, well, of course, yeah, well, if he's Indian, he might be good at computers or he might be good at, at, mm -hmm. at, at uh, being a doctor. The question in terms of telling stories is not about the profession. It's not about the ethnicity, but it's about how important is that role within Absolutely. the context of the story being told, mm -hmm. right? Would you, I would like to ask your opinion. Although you're just 14 years old, but yeah. then you have a strong head and very decisive mind. So I would like to ask you, one day, would you like a, a good role written for you, considering that you are South Asian, mm -hmm. you can't look anything else. But would you want some really good roles written for you? Not necessarily like the cliché or the, you know. I mean, but, yeah, if it's a really good role written for me, then I'll always take it. Um, especially now, I... I want to do more films and uh, especially films like Growing Up Smith. So, yeah. 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 That is, uh, this, this is a good role written. But yeah. then the, the person who's writing is also yeah. South Asian. So, that makes yeah. a huge difference, right? Mm -hmm. But is there any other role which is like may not be a South Asian role that mm -hmm. you like and you would want to play that uh, when you grow up? I mean, I don't have any role in mind. He's always wanted like... to play an Italian mobster. <laughs> No, no it, you know, I'm, what I'm actually father. touching on is this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the ethnicity uh, aspect mm -hmm. of South Asian, mm -hmm. we're not going to escape that. We're going to yes. always be who we are, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Whether the South Asian element is relevant in the mm -hmm. story, it, if it is relevant, then the hope for us as mm -hmm. artists is that it's relevant in enough way where our characters have three dimensions. Sure. If it's not relevant then we're still going to be who we are. We're not going to change our skin color and ask them to color us white. Absolutely. You know, this back in the day when, you know, African-Americans, uh, the, the characters were often depicted by Caucasian actors playing, you know, in blackface, right? Absolutely. And so why would we want to do the opposite? Yes. You know, in yes. reverse, I mean. Agreed. Absolutely. So one more question before we mm -hmm. wrap up. Is you are playing... Um, 10-year-old lover boy 
It's a sweet, mm -hmm. romantic story, you know? Mm -hmm. How did you relate with that emotion? His girlfriend that his mom doesn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so that part is was a little uh, different because I had never... Uh, that part was not as relatable to mm -hmm. other aspects of Smith's life. Okay. But like things, there are different ways you can experience it. Mm -hmm. Like for me, there's I don't have somebody I love, but there are other things that I can mm -hmm. relate to it mm -hmm. and uh, stuff like that. Oh, okay. So is there any um, special moment you want to share during the making of the film, you and then you? Uh, if you could share your, you know, some experience with us. Mm -hmm. well, um, well, my favorite moments filming the film were all the biking scenes. Because oh. those were the most fun to film uh, and also the most, I, I think, one of the funniest sequences to watch at the beginning of the film. Oh, okay. So let's not miss the beginning of the film. Yeah. And what about uh, you? For me, the most uh, exciting moment was actually the, uh, the scene where we're wood chopping in the backyard. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Where I've, you know, I'm asking him to learn how to chop wood. Um, okay. And it's a very traditional Indian uh, mentality, which is practicality, right? Yeah. You're going to chop wood in the backyard and then bring it in and uh, light the fire so you don't have to pay for electricity. Yeah. Right? We were conserving <laughs> yes. on electricity. Yes. Uh, and in the back uh, backyard when we're chopping wood, mm -hmm. it's uh, Smith's character brings up the fact that it's almost Halloween. Can you go trick-or-treating? As uh, right. and, and I think it's a very funny moment where he yeah. wants to go as Darth, Darth Vader. Darth Vader, because he's in Star Wars. And I misinterpret that as Dr. Vader. <laughs> Yeah, so really looking forward for the film. It sounds really fun. The trailer is absolutely brilliant. Before we go, um, what would you like to tell your audience? What should be the takeaway from the film? What would, you, would be your message? Um, I think it's an opportunity for people to go and see movies that don't have violence, that don't have explosions, and they don't have profanity in them. It's an opportunity for you to go to the movie theater and leave the cinema feeling good about your fellow humanity. And I think it's also a very relatable film, especially for immigrants, and not just Indian immigrants, but any immigrants coming from anywhere, they can relate to the film a lot. Absolutely. Wonderful. It was absolutely a pleasure talking to you, both of you, and um, wish you all the luck, and uh, may this movie do very well at the box office, and you win a lot of awards, as you've been winning, you've been collecting praises, and some good reviews. Well, keep it up. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. So this was it. I hope you enjoyed the interview as much as I enjoyed doing it. Thank you so much for tuning in to Desi Plaza TV. This is Karishma signing off for today.